Hello everyone, this is Piedmont Central Railroad, and today I wanted to do a video on a direct comparison between the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 locomotive and a Legacy locomotive. Now, there is some subtle differences and I have yet to see a video that directly compares and contrasts these two type of locomotives. Now we're just going to do steam today and uh, maybe another video will will do some diesels. Um, but these are both excellent locomotives, but I think it helps to know what's the difference before you go buying. And the first major difference is price point okay so a lion chief plus 2.0 this particular one was 499 new now this is the berkshire and it just happens to be the southern road name so this came out i think last year as did this legacy and this legacy is the 460. Okay, so what does that 460 stand for? And essentially, it's the wheel type. So you notice there's four front wheels. Okay, well, you see two here, but of course, there's two on the other side. So that's four. And then there's three here. So that's six, right? And none under the cab. So four. <laughs> 460. Now, Berkshire has a nickname, um, but essentially a Berkshire would be a 284. Okay? Because there's four trailing wheels. So, two driving wheels. I'm sorry, lead wheels, two lead wheels, four driving wheels, and I'm sorry. Eight driving wheels and four trailing wheels. So two, eight, four, four, six, zero. Okay. Um, the four, six, zero did also have names, uh, nicknames. They were called uh, Copperheads and on some uh, rail lines, but most of the time they were called 10 wheelers. Okay. Four plus six is 10, right? 10 wheeler. Pretty easy. So back to prices. So when these were new, the Lion Chief was $4.99 and the Legacy was $7.49. Okay, so a little bit of a difference in price. Uh, but as you can see, you essentially get what you pay for. Um, the next issue is scale. Okay, this isn't necessarily true. For all Lion Chiefs, but it is for the Berkshire. The Berkshire is what they call a semi-scale. And there is a lot of debate on what semi-scale is. Um, o scale is supposed to be 1 to 48. Okay, so 1 of our inches to 48 model inches. I'm sorry, 1 inch. Yes, that's right. So one inch to four feet, essentially. Um, and this legacy is a true O scale, okay? Now don't be confused between O scale and O gauge, right? So our tracks are O gauge, okay? And those are consistent. No matter what train you run in O, it's going to run on this track but just because it runs on o gauge doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be o scale okay so this berkshire is semi scale well why did they do that well essentially so it would fit on my track okay so my track is no more than o 36 and on my elevated section it's actually o 31 so if we were to make this Berkshire actually to scale, it wouldn't fit on my table, okay? 
I think that needs like an 072 um, and at the very least 054, which I don't have, right? So this allows me to run this sort of train on a smaller table, right? And that can be a big advantage. I think it's a big advantage as far as my 031 elevated track. Um, and that's why I like the idea of it. Essentially, semi-scale is about 1 to 64. So, yes, it's not a true scale, um, but I think that's okay. And I think when you're dealing with O-gauge trains, you have to be forgiving of scale somewhat. Um, not all of my rolling stock is true O-scale. Not all of the buildings technically are O-scale, but it all fits. Um, and it allows me to have the bigger trains um, on a smaller track. All right, so the next difference that I find between the two is details. Okay, so Lion Chief, a lot of great detail, but is essentially molded on. There is very little extra metal attachments legacy much more detailed you get extra metal pieces that are attached so another big difference i feel is in the cab um, i'm going to turn on my flash here so we can see better uh, as you can see in our Lion Chief Plus 2.0, yeah, there's some molded detail in there, and it's pretty cool. And they will have the uh, fire flicker light. But in the Legacy, a lot more detail. Let's see the gauges. Sorry about this. There you go. A lot more detail. Okay, the next thing I'd like to compare is the different sounds. All right, so the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 no longer comes with its own remote control. And the reason for that is because the Wi-Fi is so much better. You can use apps on your phones. And when the Cab 3 comes out, it's basically going to make these uh, extra remotes practically obsolete. Um... So for this one, I'd like to use a uh, universal remote. We'll start her up here. Pretty good startup sound. Good whistle. Bell. Not bad. Dispatcher, air is made. Brake test complete. Are we clear to pull? Over. Hold your position. Out.
something I noticed with this locomotive is the the chuff at slow speeds isn't spectacular. The sounds are good. The momentum also using this universal remote is not great. But we'll hit on that more a little later when we actually use the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 with the Legacy Remote. Another detail I'd like to hit on is the coal for the two different types of locomotives. I find that the coal with the Legacy is much more detailed it almost looks real as compared to the more molded Lion Chief coal. So you can get a good shot of the, uh, the smoke here. Pretty good output. I don't think film really does it justice. I think in real life it looks a lot better. Okay, now let's take a look at the sounds of the Legacy locomotive here using our um, Legacy Cab 2 remote. Um, I'm going to try to do the extended startup here where you hit the startup button and uh, hold it down and you get this. This is the block operator. Clear to move east on one runner when ready. Over. Alright, let's get to work. Already you can tell a big difference. And it just takes forever for the engine to start up. That's okay. Okay. So what I really like about the Legacy, there's just so many options for sounds. Um, there's different crew talk and tower sounds. Yard office, we are ready to depart. Can we pull? Over. Things are taking a little longer than usual. Sit tight until I can get the line clear. Out. These long waits are brutal. At least the back kid keeps the coffee on. And there's something called blowdown, where, um, they basically... It's a way to clean out the steam lines of uh, any debris and crud, and that's on here. Hit that button. We have water loading. We have coal loading. My water Forgot it gives that little extra message. Here's coal loading. Now the uh, steam's really starting to work. It's warmed up. Um, legacy, many legacy locomotives have whistle steam now. Let's see if I can get a close up of that here. You'll also notice variability in the the whistle as it has the ability to quill. And basically, just depending on how you hold down the whistle. And bell. And one of my favorite options with legacy sounds is the sequence control. So basically, as I'm moving the train it will automatically do whistles it will give announcements uh it'll do bell when you start up and slow down and basically you just hit the auxiliary and hold it down okay 
So now, when I start the train, it will actually start doing sounds. I, I am... I'm not actually hitting any of the buttons when it does that. It just does it on its own. You notice the chuffing smoke on this locomotive is a lot better than on the line sheet. Dramatic difference there. As soon as I get up to speed a little more, that bell will shut off on its own in sequence control. Here, much better rail sounds. Of course, I have the Rail sounds box cars there too, which are also making the noise. when a train is going to go backwards it does three blasts of the whistle so that is something that's a little not not quite prototypical we'll forgive it all right i'm going to shut it down here tower go on to sign the register book we're done for the day out now when we're talking about legacy and the lion chief i think it's important to note especially with the lion chief plus 2.0 is that I can control this locomotive with the Cab 2 Legacy. So we're going to change our engine to 2027. That is not right. 20. Now I'm, I'm back on the Berkshire. Now you notice that it does have some options for sounds with the Legacy, not quite as many because this actually uses uh, TMCC control and not the actual Legacy. And, that's for a different video, I think. But it, I can still control some of these sounds. I think it's also really important to note that I can do the water loading. Notice it did not give me a message that the water was full, but that's okay. And I can do the coal loading as well.
and the blowdown. So those are sounds that you can't get with conventional Lion Chief control. And I think that's a, a really cool option. Um, also, the momentum of the train. Um, you'll notice with the Lion Chief, I'm sorry, with the Legacy, it, it really had good gradual start and stop. And I think that was, that's just a great option. You have better control of the momentum with the Legacy control with the Lion Chief Plus 2.0. So let's start her up here. You notice how it starts much more slowly, much more evenly. Now you can't quill the whistle, unfortunately, but that's okay. We have to make concessions, I think. It's not a legacy engine. has nice momentum, I think. I'm going to stop it. I've got the momentum all the way down. It's slowly stopping. Dispatcher, air is made. Brake test complete. Are we clear to pull? Over. <laughs> Cleared onto the main. Out. Okay, let's reverse it here. So again, to recap, the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 can be controlled by Legacy, your Legacy Cab 2 remote or whatever Legacy option you use. Um, when the Cab 3 comes out, it'll certainly control it. But when you use that control device, you get extra sounds. And then, of course, there's the plethora of sounds that you already get with your Legacy engine, your Legacy locomotive. Also, I'd like to add that really the legacy sounds in your legacy locomotive are going to be a lot louder. Um, my, my Lion Chief does a great job, but it just doesn't get the, the sound volume or the sound quality that the legacy is going to get. I feel there's, there's a little more bass in that, just a little better, higher quality sounds. So I hope this comparison has been helpful between the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 and the Legacy locomotive. Just to sort of recap, of course the price point is different. This was $499. This was $649. I'm sorry, $749. Um, considerable difference but you get so much more with the Legacy. However, I think the Lion Chief is a quality locomotive. Um, the Legacy should be better. Of course, it is um, it's a higher tier. Don't discount the Lion Chief 2.0 as a quality, yet more affordable alternative. Again, thanks for joining me today. I hope this has been helpful. If you have found it helpful, Please subscribe to my channel and hit like. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time.